magic school bus. Computer, report please. All systems go, Ms. Frizzle. We are leaving the Earth behind. And here comes the moon! I mean, there goes the moon! Wow! Are we going fast or what? We just went from planet Earth to the moon in less than a minute! As my Aunt Dromeda always says, Ralphie, to reach the stars, you have to get way past Mars! Gee, look at all those teeny tiny stars! I wonder if they'll get bigger when we get closer, like the moon did. They better. We need some way to tell them apart. Now you're probably asking, Boris Cope, how can you sell me a star if they all look alike? Right? Wrong. That's the beauty of it. Look closely and you'll see lots of different kinds of stars. For instance, take this little baby. Only two million years old. Now, believe it or not, that's really young for a star. To see it, just look in the direction of the constellation, Taurus the Bull. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Ooh. Please, who ever heard of a baby star? To see it for yourself, you'd have to fly at a speed of 500 million miles an hour. And it would still take you about 80 years just to get there. So isn't it a lot easier to just call? 80 years? I told my mom I'd be home by seven. Then what are we waiting for? Hmm, baby star, here we come. Is it just me, or do we just leave our solar system behind? Man, we've already gone so far, we can't see any of the planets anymore. And now our sun looks as tiny as, well, a star. Hey, Ms. Frizzle, is our sun a star? Just like all the other stars out here? Yup. Makes you think, doesn't it? Computer, star chart, please. Ah, yes, right on course. Constellation Taurus, here we come. We should be seeing the baby star right about... Coming out of hyperdrive now. Wow! Hmm, that baby star should be around here somewhere. But it's hard to tell with all this dust and gas. Dust and gas? Is that what these weird clouds are made of? Stellar nursery straight ahead. Dust, gas, swirling clouds? This is not a good place for a baby. On the contrary, Phoebe, it's the best place for a baby star. Oh, wow! This new telescope is really neat. You can see practically forever. Take a look, Liz. You can even see huge clouds of dust and gas way up there. Gee, I wonder what they look like up close. That can't be our baby star. It doesn't look like what we saw on TV. You're right, Keisha. It's a ball of gas, but not a star. Whoa! What's happening? We're being sucked towards the center. Warning, warning. Due to a large ball of hot gas, we are out of control. I wonder where we're going today. Inside a rotten log, been there, to the bottom of the ocean, done that. We're going to the planetarium? Hardly unusual, Arnold. The Frizz taking us on a normal field trip? Believe me, that's unusual. Mm -hmm. How odd. Closed today. Closed? Hmm, well, looks like we'll just have to go back to school. Oh, no! Some field trip, Arnold. You know what? My teacher would have called ahead because my teacher plans ahead. My teacher never makes mistakes. My teacher is a zillion times better than Nobody before. is better than Ms. Frizzle. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Stop the bus! <laughs> Yes, 
Arnold. Isn't there, you know, someplace else you could take us? You mean another planetarium? Well, sort of, but bigger. Bigger? You know, the big one. Oh, <gasps> Arnold, why didn't I think of that? T minus five and counting. Four, three, two, one. Blast off! What's happening? A field trip! Into outer space? Highly unusual. Welcome to outer space class. The only planetarium open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And how are all my astronauts doing? <laughs> <laughs> we're weightless! We're in trouble! No, Arnold, we're in orbit around the Earth. Hmm, let's see now. We are just about there. <gasps> Wonderful! Let the tour begin! <gasps> we're coming up to the sun. Look how huge it is! Class, are you all wearing your special heavy-duty sunblocked 8,000 sun goggles? I wonder how many Earths would fit in the sun. Over a million. Hold on to your goggles! Plotty new course, Ms. Frizzle. Here's Earth, and here's the moon. I think the asteroid is here. Um, actually, D.A., I think your asteroid's right there! <gasps> Wait a second! It's got a tail, which means it's a comet. And I don't think what I saw through my telescope was a comet. Comets? Meteorites? Asteroids? Where does all this space junk come from? Leftovers, Tim. Space junk is just bits and pieces of rock that were left over after the planets formed. At my old school, we always had leftovers. Let's see. If the comet were coming this way, towards Earth... Gee, maybe this comet is what I saw. Oh, now I'm not sure. One thing is sure, if this is it, it's gonna make a pretty big dent in the gym. Still can't get through to NASA, Miss Frizzle. We're losing time. If that's what DA saw, I say we blast it to smithereens. Hold it. That comet looks more like a scoop of rocky road ice cream than a rock. As I remember, a comet is ice and rock all jammed together. Cool. Then we don't have to blast it. We can melt it. Melt it? From here? How? The sun, Arnold! The great melter in the sky! <laughs> Extend the mega reflector, Liz! Oops. Sorry, Miss Frizzle. It's your command. Oh, no, 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 Wanda. You're doing just fine. Liz, activate the Mega Reflector. Wait! I'm still not sure that's it. We can't wait, DA. It's almost out of range. Rotate the mirror to reflect the sun, Lieutenant. Begin meltdown. Check it out! All the rock and dust is coming off. It's evaporating. We got it! Yay! Retract reflector. Tell us, Wanda, how does it feel to have saved Walker Elementary School from sure destruction? Sorry, no comet. <laughs> Oh, good one, Wanda. I couldn't have said it better myself. Hey, Phoebe! Looks like you really got the hang of this, Phoebes. Very funny, Carlos. How am I going to get down? Just let go. With less gravity pulling you down, you won't fall so hard. Excellent observation, D.A. Yeah, look at this. Less pull means I can lift this weight with one hand. And so can Liz. They're right, Phoebe. On Earth, I could barely jump off the ground. Now I can jump over Ralphie. Hey, watch it. Yeah, but jumping isn't falling. Sure it is. 
falling is just the down part of jumping. Well, okay. If you say so, I'm letting go now. <laughs> Too bad falling isn't this easy on Earth. So why is there less gravity here now? A cheery query, Arnold. Is it because the bus planet got small? Superior supposition, DA. The less planet you've got, the less gravity it has to pull down on you. Cool. I feel light as a feather. Does less gravity mean things weigh less? Only one way to find out. It's time to weigh in. At home, I weigh about 65 pounds. But here, I only weigh 15. Amazing! I weigh less than I did when I was two. So how much you weigh depends on how much gravity there is to pull down on you. Dynamically deduced. Well, thanks to this field trip, I know what it's like to do a slam dunk. Yeah. So maybe we'd better get back to Earth so you can practice for the real thing. Go home? Now? But what a waste of an opportunity. Keisha, don't you want to... Play ball! And don't let anything hold you down, class. Man, look how high these balls are bouncing. They may never come down. Oh, they'll come down all right, Tim, just like Phoebe did. With less gravity, it takes a little longer, that's all. Speaking of longer, look at me dribble. My steps are a lot longer and higher than on Earth. And look how much farther I can throw the ball with less gravity. Heads up, Carlos! Carlos 2, Gravity Zip! I did it! Yeah! Way to go, Beebs! Now that's what I call a slam dunk! <laughs>